Welcome to week number one for Claire Salt. Now, I know you guys are getting really confused, like Claire this, Claire that, Claire that. Yes, there is three Claire's on this course, but I would like to introduce you to Claire Salt. Hi, Claire. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Excited, actually. So in this six-week course, we are going to help you lose a stone or more. How does that sound? It sounds really good. I've tried for years on and off and never got anywhere. So I'm kind of fingers crossed this might be the time I actually achieve something. And what have been your biggest roadblocks? What's been stopping you in the past um, losing weight? I think, I think from a sort of mental and emotional point of view, the fact that I've always been big. I know it sounds like a bit of an excuse, but I was kind of the big kid at primary school, at high school, in the workplace. It's been sort of, I suppose I've just got used to it. Uh, so I can't kind of visualise not being really overweight. And we had this little chat, didn't we, in private message a few weeks ago when I was talking about something about this. And you said about it, um, you know, you almost feel like it is you, you being the, the bigger person. You can't even imagine yourself being any smaller is that right yeah I've, I've just kind of got used to it I guess and in my sort of 20s and 30s it really didn't bother me I was like you know I don't care what people think you know it's fine and and I was quite although I was big I was quite healthy so it wasn't really a big issue yeah uh, but over the last couple of years I've sort of got achy knees and my back aches a bit and I get tired easily and I'm thinking okay maybe you know, I need to sort of address this and, and kind of be honest with myself about, you know, how big the problem is, really. And what's, is there any sort of foods or anything like that you particularly enjoy that you, that are not, you know are not so healthy? Um, not specifically. I'm kind of one of them people that I kind of like everything. I like all the healthy stuff, but I like all the not so healthy stuff as well. Uh, I've got four children. Uh, oh, you've got two four, are, have you? I've got four, yeah, yeah. Um, two are teenagers. So my older two are coming up for 18 and 20, and then I've got two younger ones. So um, I'm, I often sort of cook all day sometimes because they, they're in and out at different times with sort of work and uni and college and school. So um, I feel like all I do sometimes is just prepare food. So it's very easy to sort of pick at everyone's food through the day and then you don't realise how many calories you've put in your mouth. That's one of the biggest problems, I think. So I was chatting to one of the other slimmers the other day and they said they didn't even stop themselves because they were almost on autopilot, just testing people's food, testing their children's foods because it's just what they do. You know, and it was, you yeah, say that was happening to yourself. Yeah, you don't sort of realise, you're just like, or you might be putting it out and you sort of have a couple of chips or you might have a chicken nugget or something, you know, just a little bit sometimes and you don't even realise you're doing it. So I think it's being aware and maybe, maybe for me, planning what I'm eating and then knowing that I can only eat that for that day. Yeah. So I know that I can't eat anything else other than, you know, what I've prepared or what I've got on my list. And it has to be very black and white for me. I'm quite happy to be told off. I'm quite happy for you to be quite direct with me because uh, I actually work better like that. I like to be, be told and it to be very black and white. Well, I'll definitely tell you what is what you're doing right and wrong, but I can't tell you off, Claire. You're too nice for that. <laughs> so you have been doing uh, some of my uh, live videos, haven't you? The exercise videos. So this is a I good like, start. I, 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 yeah, I've been trying quite a lot. The, the problem I have, if I'm completely honest, is I get tired really quickly. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of start off with a bit of good intention. I think, oh, yeah, the music's great and I'll have a go. And I get maybe sort of 10 minutes in and I'm, I'm struggling that soon. Yeah. And then it's very hard to kind of push past that and, and not be sort of disheartened by it. And I, I feel a bit sometimes like the mountain's too high. So I've never kind of started really because I think of, got so much weight to lose it, it seems almost impossible because it's this huge huge thing you know and this is where just focusing on day by day and doing things like my four minute workouts are still the easiest thing because it is easy for for most people to do just four minutes so 
that is definitely my recommendation for you. Don't try and do too much too soon. Don't try and change loads of things. Just take it step by step. Okay, yeah, I think that'd be great because I just, I wouldn't go to a gym or anything like that. I'm not, I wouldn't be confident yeah. enough to walk into a gym or I don't even think an exercise class at the moment, but I would do it in the sort of privacy of my living room. I'd have yeah. a go and no, nobody's watching me, you know. Right, so you've managed to download the My Fitness Pal app, have you? Yes, yes, I've done that. Great. And have you tracked anything yet? Have you figured out that? I have. Well, I started on Saturday. I thought I'll have a go over the weekend, just get used to kind of inputting it all. And I did actually try um, with the app a couple of years back. And I was looking at my logs on there from sort of a, two or three years ago. And I've actually put some weight on since then that I sort of didn't realise I had. Yeah. So that's a motivation to say, you know, actually, if, you, if you're sort of putting a little bit on every year, it's really time to get it down a bit and try and stabilise it as well, rather than sort of putting on, you know, each time you check. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been inputting the food in and I've sort of set a goal and it, it sort of tells me how well I've done on there and tells me what we're aiming for. And it also tells you how much sort of fat and protein you've had over the day, which you might not have realized. So that's quite helpful. Yeah. Now don't be scared of fat, by the way, because I know this is, uh, it's a bit of a misconception because, um, our body needs fat. Our body doesn't need sugar. This is the, the biggest thing that we need to remember. I know sugar tastes amazing. <laughs> we all love it. But it has no real benefit to our body where fat, although it's got a bit of a bad name, it does do some good things in our body. It gives us great skin. It gives us lovely hair, nails, et cetera, stuff like that. So fat's really important. So when you do check on my fitness palette, maybe the fat has gone into the red. Don't be alarmed because, as I said, there is some benefits of having some fat okay um and exercise wise just completely do as much as you like if you don't want to do any don't do any uh, as i said the, the the big results that you're going to get and the real health benefits are going to get from uh changing your eating and obviously having some good nutrients okay how are your children on food do they do they like um, to try different things do they like oh, healthy yeah, things the little ones are quite fussy uh, they can be quite fussy sometimes but my my older two will sort of eat anything and my my teenage daughter she's a, a bit of a fitness fanatic actually oh, uh, she's been trying to motivate me for a very very long time she's brought sort of weights and all different things and she's really tried to push me but I think maybe we're just sort of a bit too close for uh, you know to each other for her to kind of guide me through it really uh, but she does try. She's very supportive and she will eat whatever I eat, really. She'll, you know, she'll sort of eat all the healthy stuff. And so she's really good. My oldest son, not so much. She's, you know, not going to yeah. give up takeaways and things. But obviously it doesn't mean I have to have them. So, you know, that's fine. So I would suggest things like cottage pies, uh, sausage and mash, you know, just real family comfort food basics that obviously your family are going to like and hopefully that you can enjoy too. The biggest guidance uh, I can give you is just to stay away from breads and pasta, which are, are typical slimming foods because they're quite filling, but they're low calorie. But the problem is with those foods, there's no nutrients in there. So you are going to just want more and more of them and also be craving sugar. Uh, so just going for more potato meals uh, and rice based meals or no grain at all based meals are, are the way forward, if possible. Yes, okay. Did you manage to have a look at any of the meal plans? I did, yeah. I got some sort of good ideas as well. Because it, it's just sometimes you run out of ideas. That is one of the problems, I think, especially when you're cooking for a family. Yeah. You sort of tend to do like the same things and, and sort of repeat meals sometimes. And Because you don't want so, any yeah. waste. When the kids refuse to eat the food, then what's going to happen? <laughs> no, I mean, You're going to have to eat it all. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got some sort of good ideas off there. And it's, I think it's a case of overall in the whole way that I think about it, really. I think it, like my attitude to it needs to change. And I think yeah. a, a lot about weight loss is, is kind of partly mental, to be fair. It's mental and emotional. And we attach emotions to food. I get very bored in an evening sometimes so I'll 
make a cup of tea and then I think, oh, I might as well have a bit of toast while I'm in there. Yeah. And, you know, before you know it, you've had a whole load of calories that actually you know that you didn't need really. Yeah. And you were just sort of, you know, filling the board. And so that's what I need to stop doing, definitely. And again, this is where the community side of Slim Brother, just having the Facebook group there, everyone posting their ideas. Uh, and, you know, Facebook has become so famous for people like losing hours and hours. But if you can keep busy on Facebook and not eat, then obviously that is a great thing and a, a positive thing. Yes, yeah. And just to, to finally say that you do know our lovely Slimmer Jill, don't you? I do very well. Yeah, she's <laughs> become a good friend. Yeah. So thank you for Jill for introducing me and you. That's the uh, thumbs that we need to give to Jill. Uh, and yeah, I'm sure on, so. I'm sure you two will be inspiring each other as well over the coming weeks. So that's the the other positive. Yeah, I think definitely. I mean, she's very supportive and. Um, you know she's wants to get back on to it herself at some point in the future and she's sort of told me lots about you and I think the thing that I got from watching your videos and then sort of reading all the things that you post online is that I think you actually get it and you actually understand um, I would have never have spoke to someone like this before and I think that was because quite often sort of personal trainers be kind of these muscly men that have never had any fat on them ever anyway so how can they possibly understand so I think the fact that you're so open about the journey that you've been on you know you obviously get it you've obviously struggled yourself and I think that's really important that you can sort of relate to who you're working with and we know that you understand so I think that's really important. And I feel it's important, you know, I don't just post photos where I look super slim or super beautiful. Uh, you know, I think it's important to show the real me. And it's good that you, you're you obviously connected to that. So that's good. Thank you, Claire. Okay. Right. Any other questions? Uh, no, I don't think so for now. I'll, uh, I'm sure there will be some, but I can't think of anything right now. So. Yeah, feel free to message me at any point, post in the group, okay. get involved. Um, but yeah, all I want you to do is to do the little workouts if you fancy them in the morning and then just track your food and then we'll go from there. Does that sound that's okay? Lovely. Yeah, that's great. Great, Claire. I may be calling you Claire Salt a lot, by okay, my apologies, <laughs> but just it's to just make sure there's no confusion <laughs> who's who. Yeah. Because God forbid that I say congratulations, Claire has lost a stone, and everyone will be like, oh me, 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 me. They'll all try and steal your crown, Claire. You would, you would. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again thank next you. week. Lovely. Thank you.